Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jeremy from Welltech Designs and what we have here behind us is this awesome 6.6 as you listen to that thing just first. So that's the Duramax 6.6 diesel that you guys know and that you guys love. This is our 4x4 van conversion and if you don't know what I'm talking about and want to know more about what we did to this van, I'm going to throw up a card and you can check out that video. But today's video is all about towing because you guys want to know how well do they tow. So we thought what better thing than to do to hook up our giant 27 foot enclosed trailer, the black beast right there, to the back of this 6.6 Duramax. So this trailer comes in at a whopping 6,800 pounds, so it is not light, um, although I wish it was a lot lighter. So, But what we've done is we've taken all the race car stuff out of it, so it's just a trailer by itself. And we wanna go see how this thing drives and how it pulls up hills. We know that it's gonna drive great, but let's go drive it up. We got a killer hill that we're gonna go and hit on the highway and see exactly how it does. And then we're gonna, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the 2.8 liter to the same trailer, check that out. But then for all of you people that are just looking to tow medium capacity type stuff, we're gonna take it a step farther and we're gonna hook up a 21 foot boat to the back of both of these to show you guys how they tow. So enough jibber jabbering, let's go drive. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on the freeway right now so you can kind of see, we're gonna kind of get an idea of just how this does zero to 60. We're not really gonna time it because this is no race car by any means, but just the overall pickup. And of course we know it, the 6.6 just has a ton of pickup and within no time we're doing 40 miles an hour getting on the on-ramp and we're gonna jump onto the freeway here and already we're you know at 60 miles an hour within no time before even the end of the on-ramp. So we're stuck behind a semi right now, but we'll go ahead and get around this guy and um, really kind of see how it does at speed of 65. Um, even though, yes, here in the great state of California, you know, we're supposed to tow it 55 miles an hour. But let's say we're doing that 55 miles an hour right now, and this is going to be great. Um, this particular van just has the regular stock, stock leaf springs in the rear, along with stock gearing in the rear as well currently. Um, it does have our four wheel drive conversion on it, um, our coilover conversion, um, but no gears yet. Um, so now I guess we just gotta get around this thing and then really kind of open it up and see how it does. But I mean, we're cruising 65 miles an hour um, and it's nice. So that's it right there. That's what this engine is all about, the pickup. Um, so I mean, within no problem, you know, now we're up doing 75 miles an hour in order to get around traffic. And this thing does it without hesitation. I mean, it's like, you wanna go? All right, let's go. And it just keeps wanting to go. I mean, dude, the 6.6 is awesome. Gotta love it. Uh, even towing almost 7,000 pounds right now, just no problems whatsoever. Now, granted, we're on a slight incline right now, nothing great, but, um, you know, it's still super comfortable. And as soon as we can, we will go ahead and get back. Well, everybody just wants to drive really slow today. So right now we are just cruising 75 miles an hour, uh, towing 7,000 pounds. Uh, again, this is the 6.6 Duramax. It's awesome, love this, love this van, love this engine. All right guys, so as we come up on this hill, you're gonna kind of see this is gonna give us um, a nice grade right here. So we can see really kind of how well the 6.6 Duramax does towing up the hill. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what percent grade this is. It's just a nice little hill. For those of you guys that are in East County, you know this is the hill going up to um, Tavern Road in Alpine. So, um, little downshift right there and otherwise I mean this is doing great we're still at 70 miles an hour right now starting to decrease speed a little bit but it's holding it right there about you know 67 miles an hour So just so you know, so right now we are 
at 2300 RPM. That's what the RPM is as we're going up the hill and we are, we're stuck at 70. I mean, not stuck, but like this is a nice cruising speed at 70 miles an hour going up this hill without a doubt. Now, could we go faster? Yeah, but is it necessary? No, not really. So as we get to about the top of this hill we're coming up on, we've dropped down, we're about 60, five miles an hour and we're at about 2200 rpm so still a very comfortable speed and rpm but still man it just wants to go more so right now it drops up and bumps up to about 2400 and you can really feel it kick in and i mean now we're at 75 just like nothing so it's almost really you gotta back off just to not a little bit too crazy and out of control there so I mean this thing is great I mean whoever if you're gonna be towing the 6.6 just does it I mean it's great all right so that was a good uphill test I mean overall we know that this thing is gonna tow great and if we didn't know it's pretty well confirmed that towing about 7,000 pounds it does not have an issue whatsoever I mean totally dig it I love this um, really drives really nice um, and then you know this is also great for me just to see because normally I'm towing this with my 6.0 gas that we'll also have to might as well we're hooking up the trailer we'll have to hook that up and I'll go ahead and throw up a card here for that future video of uh, the 6.0 gas engine towing hey guys what's up all right, so now we're going for round two of the towing test. You know, you already saw us. We went and towed the big, massive trailer. That was easy, no problem. Um, but now we also want to tow something a little bit smaller, something that maybe more of you guys that own a Chevy Express van are looking to tow. And what is that? What are we talking about here? How about a boat? So we have a 21-foot boat here. Killer, not anything ginormous, but not super small. So if you're looking to tow something of this size, um, this is gonna be a great video for you to watch, see how it does. Now we have the 6.6 Duramax in there. We know that it towed the big trailer really big, really good. Um, so we know that it's gonna tow this really well too, but still we wanna get an idea of in it um, because when we compare this to the 2.8 liter, um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna throw up a card right here, and you guys can go and check out that video of the 2.8 liter towing the same boat right here and how it did. So if you're looking to buy a Chevy Express van um, and you're wanting to know, what do, I, what do I decide? What do I buy? Do I buy a 2.8 liter? Do I buy the 6.0 gas? Or do I buy the 6.6? Um, we are going to get all these videos made eventually and soon we will get the 6.0 gas uh, review also towing the same two items which is going to be a boat and the enclosed trailer and I will throw up a card there but I will also to make sure that I include all the links down below of what we're doing the weights and more info there so enough jibber jabbering let's go let's go tow some boats we really need to be going to the lake I, you know i don't think i'm gonna be able to get away all day go to the lake maybe me and austin we'll just go do it we'll be like hey uh we'll be back in a little bit <laughs> and then we'll like insta we'll instagram it live like hey we're on the boat we're at the lake Woo! yeah piss the people off all right that's it let's go drive all right guys so here we go this is going to be with the boat on the back and so we know that this is going to tow this boat really well. This boat doesn't weigh a ton, so it shouldn't be an issue whatsoever, but still it'll give you guys a nice kind of idea. So as we get onto the freeway, once again, like up to speed, no problem whatsoever. I mean, we're doing 65 in a matter of, you know, a few seconds and not a few, but half a minute, let's just say. But I mean, overall, this thing's gonna tow great. So not a ton of weight right now. So of course it's gonna tow really nice. When we get the bigger, heavier things on there, like the enclosed trailer, that's where you're gonna start to notice it a little bit more. But really, as for this, I mean, we're cruising at 70 miles an hour, you know, no problem 
problem whatsoever. And let's go back and let's just see what 1700 RPMs. So, um, and our average fuel economy right now is 10 miles per gallon, which, you know, I mean, that's, that's pretty good for a diesel. So, uh, let's go back to 1600 RPMs at 65 miles an hour. No problems, a little bit of an incline right here. Overall, really nice. Um, the big test will be is like when we start to go up the hill, how does it do? And I have a hunch, I'm not really sure, but I think it's gonna tow the hill really good. My guess is like 70, 75, no problem. All right guys, so here we are. We are gonna hit the hill and see how does this 6.6 Duramax tow up this hill. hill I mean we're at 2400 rpms and we are cruising on um, about 75 miles an hour so I mean this is just this is nothing for this 6.6 Duramax engine I mean this thing's awesome that's why so many people love um, their Chevy trucks and their Chevy vans I mean this thing just goes I mean no problem whatsoever other than giant semi in front of us but uh yeah i mean this thing just cruises 75 no problem towing this boat super rad love it all right guys so we're going to jump back on the freeway um this thing just tows really nice i mean i got nothing bad to say about this you guys know that um i'd love to hear you know, comment below, what do you guys tow with your 6.6 Duramax? Um, I'd love to hear what the biggest thing you guys have towed with your 6.6 Duramax and what these things are capable of. Now keep in mind, this is gonna be the one thing about the Chevy Express van, is that the Chevy Express van does not have the Allison transmission in them. So these have the 6L90 transmission in them, whether it is a 6.6 Duramax or a 6.0 gas engine, they're both gonna have that uh, 6L90 transmission. Now, I have also heard that they detune the engine in order to compensate for having that smaller um, transmission in there comparatively to the Allison transmission. And if you have done anything to your 6.6 Duramax, I would love to hear it because I'm on the hunt for one. I would love to get one of these vans and I would love to be able to get more power out of it without having to go to an Allison transmission in there. So with that being said, that's all I got. Let's head back to the shop and go for round two. All right guys, what's up? We are back hanging out in the shop here and just wanted to recap on this video. We got to drive both the 2.8 liter and the 6.6 at the same time, which is awesome. We don't usually have both of those vans here in the shop. In my opinion, I am towing most of the time. So what video am I, or what video, what van am I gonna go with? Well, of course it's gonna be the 6.6 Duramax. You know, we're gonna get 16 miles plus to the gallon and be able to tow, which maybe it's gonna be a little bit less when towing. And the 2.8 liter though, we're gonna be up around 20 miles to the gallon, which is gonna be awesome for a van, especially when you start doing the build out, super cool. But I'm towing all the time, whether it be at the racetrack or just around town, I've always got stuff behind me. I love the 6.6, it's got a plenty of torque, plenty of power. That's the vehicle for me. Now you may have different needs and I would love to hear why it is that you would either choose the 2.8 liter or the 6.6 Duramax. Um, both of them are awesome. And next up, I'm gonna do a 6.0 gas review. That way we will have all the Chevy van engines covered. I hope you guys enjoy this. Please smash that subscribe button, ring that bell, and I will see you guys on the next video.